Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're new to this channel, my name is Amra and this is Amra's Beauty Blog. I'm a freelance makeup artist with a passion for all things beauty. If you're a subscriber, then a welcome return. If you like this video and would like to see more, then please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell for weekly uploads. So today I'm going to be talking about the Victoria Beckham makeup collection. I have picked up quite a few pieces in the last year from Victoria Beckham. I am really, really impressed with the quality of the makeup. I actually purchased her previous collection that she did with Estee Lauder. I wasn't sure how her sort of collection on her own would be. This has really surprised me. So today I will be going through all of her makeup and I will show you how I achieved this look. I have quite a few pieces from her collection and I'm looking forward to sharing all that with you so please enjoy the rest of the videos and I thought today would be a really good day to do a full face of Victoria Beckham's makeup and show you her new lipsticks, her lip liners, I have two of her eyeshadow palettes and two of her eyeliners. I think I might also have the lip, the bitten lip tint as well. I have a clean face at the moment and I'm literally going to put everything on for you so you can see a few looks with her makeup. I'll also swatch her lipsticks and we can look at how those lipsticks look like on my skin tone. I'm really excited. I have been a Spice Girls fan for oh, since I was a little girl. I went to see the Spice Girls when they reformed. I went to Wembley and I, oh, I was just in heaven but I had the absolute time of my life and the concert was fantastic and brought back so many memories for me and I'm sure for others who went to the concerts as well well but Victoria has carved herself her own niche in the makeup world and also has ventured into a bit of skincare now. I have first thing which I'm going to put on my skin shortly which is the Victoria Beckham Cell Rejuvenating Priming Moisturiser by Augustinus Bader because this also has a, a golden tint to it and I thought as a kind of look we could just do that together so I thought I'd show you what it comes in so it has a beautiful sleek design very Victoria really. In total this this one I bought has 30 mil of product because I wanted to see how this would be. This also comes in a larger size, I believe, but I just wanted to see how it would be on my skin. I love her packaging. Her packaging is very sleek, just really, really nice. And I believe this has a shelf life of six months. So this is the Cell Rejuvenating Priming Moisturizer in Golden. As you can see here, it is a really good color match for me. I'm just going to swatch it, but show you the swatch. It just kind of enhances my skin and gives me a really beautiful glow. First of all, I just wanted to let you know how it felt on my skin. It felt very hydrating. It is a tint, so it's not something that will cover imperfections that you might have. If you're looking for something that isn't sort of full coverage and you want your skin to breathe, then I would definitely say this is a really good, I suppose, tint. It feels very moisturizing. I'm just feeling it on my skin now and it doesn't feel dry. It hasn't dried my face at all. It's just given it a really lovely sort of glow. What I would say with this is as well, it's like I said, it's not full coverage. So don't, if you're gonna get that for this, I wouldn't buy it for that reason. It just makes my skin look sort of healthy and I like that and it feels very nice on. So I'm just sort of dabbing that now. One of the things I wanted to mention, I just used two pumps, so I didn't use a huge amount, but it's definitely given me some coverage, which is fine because we're not going anywhere at the moment. So I don't mind that so much. And yeah, I would definitely say it's very hydrating. So the next thing I wanted to show you is just how everything has been delivered. So it comes in the Victoria Beckham box. So whenever you order it from Victoria Beckham, this pouch comes as well with all the contents inside. It just feels really, really, really nice. So is I have one of her eyeshadows in the color Tweed. So that is Tweed. And it's so, so lovely. I think for my skin tone, it's beautiful. There's some burgundies in there. What I love about the pans is that you've got sort of the base pan is larger than sort of the other colors. So this is a color that you tend to use 
used most and I love the fact that it's larger than the other three. The consistency is really, really lovely. I really, really love the design and I love the fact that it's got this closure. It's so cute to carry around. It's not too big. You've got a mirror there. It comes with a protector as well, but I just love this. And this was my first sort of Victoria Beckham purchase. I also purchased her liner, which is in the color Bordeaux. I wanted to show you what it was like using the sharpener that comes with this because sometimes I get really disappointed with sharpeners. I find that they don't necessarily sharpen the pencil as well as you'd like, or it breaks the pencil, but I was really impressed with the sharpener. So it comes with a sort of spongy end. This is the color Bordeaux. This is the pencil sharpened and I'm really, really impressed because I've used this already and it didn't break. The sharpener kept the pencil intact. And this is the Tweed palette. These are the swatches. So you have Caramel, Cashmere, Oxblood, and rust. They do appear slightly different on the skin. When they look in person, the purple does look a lot more stronger in the pan and this one looks a lot lighter in the pan. These are quite similar to the colours that you see on my hand. I just wanted to talk to you about the Satin Casual Liner. I absolutely love this liner and I'll tell you why. When you put it on, it's the most creamiest texture. It is so blendable. So once you put it on, you then swap to the other side of the pencil, which has the uh, smudger brush here. And you literally just smudge it in and the color is so much more prettier on your eyes. I absolutely love it. It really popped and made my eyes sort of stand out more. So I absolutely love this. So this is a standout product. The shadows are really creamy and there's hardly any fallout. It's absolutely beautiful. And the color Tweed is such a beautiful eye palette. You can blend it together. All the colors work really well. And I really think it is stunning. It's beautiful. I'm loving the primer as well. I think it really suits my skin tone really well. So I have three lip pencils that I bought from her collection. I have the number two, three, and four. And these are the sort of swatches of her lip liners. This one is number two. The next one is number three and the next one is number four. So as you can see number two is a lot more sort of beigey. Number three is a little bit more pinky. Number four is a bit darker. I just wanted to show you what the liners look like. They are pencil liners, really sort of simple basic liners and you can sharpen them. And then I also bought some of her lipsticks. So let me talk about the lipsticks. During lockdown and just before lockdown she had a sort of concierge service that was available on her website. This service on her website allowed you to basically send a photograph of your face and then they would match you with the lipsticks that she just launched. The three that they recommended were the three that I kind of had my eyes on anyway. 
anyway. So I picked up Spice, Pose and Sway. These are all very different. I can't wait to show you what these look like. I actually went into the Victoria Beckham store in London and I did go in and look as well just to see what they all look like because I'm quite a visual person. So this is the container. It's quite slim again. That seems to be sort of like the design of how she designs her makeup and it's got substantial weight to it so it does feel high-end and luxurious. Let's have a look how it looks on my lips and I will do a hand swatch as well for you. This is meant to be it's kind of like a nude lip but let's just see how it looks. So this is Spice. At the tip there is a little VB as you can see which is very very nice. Okay let's start off with Spice. The first thing I want to say is how creamy this is. I was really sort of surprised when I was putting it on. The colour is so nice. It's like a nude but like my lips but better. I actually think I could get away without a liner but I will try it with a liner with one of the three liners that we looked at earlier anyway but I do think that it can work without. I love this colour. It's really really nice. It's a really complimentary nude and I feel like the lipstick is so moisturised on my lips which is what I need right now during this time of year. It's quite sheer so I had to go on a few times to get the colour to show through. As you can see the colour is beautiful. This is the lip colour and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use a number two liner with this lipstick next. So I've just put number two liner all over my lips and I'm now going to put the lipstick on top. So that works really well together. That's the number two liner with the lipstick in Spice and that really works. The two colors work beautifully together. Surprisingly, that didn't actually take that long to remove and it hasn't left any stain, which is really, really good. So now we're going to move on to the next color that I picked up, which was Sway. This is Sway. Sway is more pinky, I'd say, in tone. The other one is more beigey, more neutral. I think the lip pencil that I have in the next color up, which is number three, should suit this really well because that sort of has a pinky undertone as well. This is Sway. really really pretty so surprised again with the feeling it just feels so moisturizing so this is sway I have to say she is surprising me so much in a good way at how pretty these shades are. Sway is such a lovely pink. It's sheer still but it's got this really nice pop still and really easy to wear. Love this, absolutely love it. This is sway. So I have lip liner number three on. I don't know if it was just the fact that I was just lucky, but I happened to pick up colours that match the liners. I don't know how that happened, but luckily they do. So I'm now going to use liner three, which is what is on my lips. And I put that all over my lips. And now we're going to put on the lipstick on top. And again, that is a perfect match. The liner matches the lipstick correctly and yeah it's given the lipstick just some shape with the liner there. So the last lipstick in the three that I purchased is in the colour Pose. Pose is I suppose more of like a deeper colour so that is the colour Pose. I actually think Pose and Spice are kind of like nudes and this is a very similar nude. Actually, in fact, this is closer to my natural lip colour, just a little bit darker. Okay, so I have the final liner on now, which is number four. Yeah, it's a really nice sort of liner. It just gives my lips some definition. And I'm gonna go in now with the colour Pose.
my first initial thoughts is I actually prefer it with the liner I think for this particular color because it needs a little bit of depth I think that the liner just gives it that extra depth and just gives my lips a little bit more definition I think if you have it on its own it's really nice it's it's very natural but I think this helps the color to kind of come out more so I think I prefer it with the liner for this particular color so these are the three hand swatches of the lip spice sway and pose So lipsticks have a shelf life of 12 months and it's cruelty free. Lipstick is two grams of product. The lip liners have a 24 month shelf life. They're cruelty free and they are 1.14 grams of product. So what I thought might be fun to show you is the Lid Lust. And this is the color that I bought and it's in the color Mink. And it's a 24 month shelf life. It is cruelty free, made in Italy, and this one has five grams of product. So it's in a pressed container and looks like that. Here is a swatch of the Lid Lust in Mink. As you can see, it's absolutely beautiful. You see that sort of shifting towards the light as well. I thought it'd be really nice to just literally put it straight onto my lids without any shadow on so you can see what it's like. So I'm taking my ring finger. I'm going to use my finger because I think this would give better payoff than using a brush. So, oh my God, it's beautiful. Really, really lovely. So this is what it looks like. Very pigmented. That's really pretty. So that's with my fingers. I haven't gone too crazy with it. Like, as in, I haven't like pushed into the product too much but I just wanted to see and show you what this lid luster looked like. So we're now going to try this with a brush so I've just got my brush here just going in. I don't know if it's going to pick up as much product as it did. It's not too bad I think with a brush you can get a lot of precision. See that's not bad. That's not bad at all so that's with a brush. That's not bad at all. I don't mind that. It does remind me of something she released with Estee Lauder. I think she released something similar, but that is kind of what that lid luster looks like in the color mink. Just wanted, so the next thing I just wanted to show you was the Bitten Lip Tint, and this is in the color Bisu, and this is one of the first ones she released. I haven't got her new one, which I think is called Cherie. I just wanted to show you what this one looked like. This one is six months, shelf life, cruelty free, made in Canada. So Sorry, this is the Bitten Lip Tint in the color Bisu. So you can see that that clearly is more of a sort of tint. So this is the Bitten Lip Tint in the colour Bisu. If you just want a touch of colour, it's not going to give you that pigment that you would get from like a strong lip colour. It's just like a kind of, as it says in the box, it's a tint. So I think it does have that kind of autumn-y feel and it does kind of look nice with the lid luster. And the new look is with the signature Victoria Beckham eyeshadow. This one is a little bit different to the tweed that I did earlier on. It's a lot more, I suppose, neutral. It's a lot more everyday wearable colors. And I like this one because yeah, it kind of spoke to me because of that. So these are the colors. And again, you've got the lovely pans. So these are the swatches for the signature eyeshadow, which you can see here. Cami Slip saddle and suede. The Signature palette has 12 months shelf life. It is made in the USA and it has 4 by 8.5 grams of product and that is the same for the tweed. Um, I also have the black eyeliner that I'm going to put on as well. As you can see these are the two eyeliners that I showed you earlier and this is the satin cajo liner in black here yeah, and in bordeaux and as you can see it's such a creamy wonderful creamy texture
So this is the finished look using the signature eyeshadow palette. I really like it, it's just very, very natural. I think I prefer tweed over signature, just because tweed just had a bit more of pizzazz, but this is a really good everyday look, one that can be worn really easily. So that's why I like signature as well. And then I just put a little bit more of the Sway lipstick back on, I just wanted to say how impressed I was with the collection. So that is the collection that I have so far from Victoria Beckham. I am really, really impressed by her lipsticks. I didn't think they were gonna be that sort of moisturizing. I love the priming moisturizer. I just wish that the consistency was a little bit thicker or there was another version of it that had a little bit more coverage. I love the fact that it gives me a really glowy, dewy skin. And this is great when I'm having a good skin day, but when I'm not and I need some coverage, I feel like I'm going to have to go into my concealers and add some concealer on to places that I need some extra, I suppose, additional help with. The eyeshadows, wow, well, the eyeshadow that I've tried is beautiful. It's so stunning on. The eyeliner is fantastic. The lip liner is so lovely as well. I can't wait to try other things from her collection. I know that she's bringing things out as we're going through the year and I know she's brought out some more lid lusts and I did see some colours that I think would really suit me. So I can't wait to try those colours. My overall verdict on Victoria Beckham is definitely amazing. I think that her makeup is really, really lovely and does not disappoint. And I can't wait to see what else she brings out. Please let me know your comments in the comment section below. Please let me know if you're gonna pick anything up or have you picked anything up from Victoria Beckham? Have you tried her lipsticks? Let me know what colors you've picked if you have. Have you tried her eyeshadows? I'd love to know. Her eyeliners, her lip liners. I look forward to hearing your thoughts. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell for weekly uploads. And I look forward to seeing you again in my next video. Thank you.